I want you to notice the passage of water. I'm going to go in so that you can see. Just look how fast the passing of the water past this spot. Look how quickly the water is moving. Almost dizzy to get up real close. Think about how, just since we've been doing this, 37 seconds of our lives are gone. We have passed 45 seconds of our life, have ticked past. Time waits for no one. God is not bound by time. And those who believe in him and let Jesus' blood cover their sins and are converted and live holy lives according to the Bible, they will go to a land where there is no time, where time is no more. But here, time fastly goes by. And not only does it fastly flee, but scripture says he would shorten the time as we get toward the end of time, and that things would be so wicked that if he didn't shorten the days, no one would be saved. The wickedness would just overcome us. So as time flees, Right now, we're moving up on 120 seconds or two minutes of our life. Redeem the time, the Bible says. Each day of our life, we should be doing the things that counts. We should be speaking to Jesus. We should be reading the Bible. We should be applying the Bible. We should be striving to be a more holy person than we were the day before. May you be blessed to redeem the time.